If the world is round, why take sides? Like so many of you, I've spent most of my adult life learning that when there's a winner, everybody wins. When you go to the heart of our nation, the United States of America, that is something that we've always been the most proud of and involved in is sports and winners and teams and one against the other. Ultimately, there's a winner and we celebrate and we move on and we work towards getting better and our team getting better. And so here we are, we have, if you will, and we've been through the ringer for the last 18 months or so. We've been part of an election that has been shocking for so many of us that come from a premise of that we're all in this together and that on the collective we benefit more from us all seeing that we are all winners inside. And yet what started happening in front of our very eyes is almost like an extremely bad parenting model of two parents yelling, shouting, uh, dramatizing, uh, terrorizing, threatening, um, anything of how low can we go to make the other one look bad. And we were all part of this long-term drama, often embarrassed to other countries for them to see that this is the best of our best. And from the role model perspective, it has been very disappointing to say the least. But what has happened now is we have, if you will, a parent that has full custody. And now we can feel the, the grief or the joy or the energy or the celebration in the process that we need to go through. And it is tremendously important that we allow ourselves to go through our own process. And often in times like these, we get our deepest answers from going into the quiet. We need two things now. We need people to individuate and get back to a place of what they know they believe in, a practice of truth, for we never help by lessening our values. As Robert Bitzer said, we do not sacrifice our principles, not even on a special occasion. So now is time for us to move forward and exemplify in social media, in conversations, and in friendship, a place, a world where we all win, a world which is inclusive, not divided, a world where we are willing to work together. We have healing to do, we have forgiveness work to do for we have experienced such a dramatic thing. And yet, as we continue to live through the process of day-to-day -day life in the United States of America, let us know ultimately it is the key for us to know ultimately there are no sides. And for us to bring our prayers, our meditation, speak of our values and our truth in a way that is not demeaning we cannot jo join the armies of the world. We must join a place of love and energy and a higher vibration because we certainly need to remember that the way we speak of the world makes the world we see come true. Please let us be mindful of our affirmations, our stories, and our conversation that we're coming from the space of knowing inside that the Creator is for us and nothing ultimately is against us and all is well. God bless you on this incredible journey we call life.